Studies have shown that vegan diets tend to provide more fibre, antioxidants and beneficial plant compounds. They're also richer in magnesium, potassium, folate and vitamins C, A and E. Those on meat-free diets have also been found to have significantly lower levels of 13 biomarkers, including LDL, bad cholesterol, apolipoprotein A and B, which are both linked to cardiovascular disease, insulin-like growth factor, IGF-1, a hormone that encourages the growth and proliferation of cancer cells, creatinine, a marker of worsening kidney function, liver function markers linked to inflammation and cell damage, among several other biomarkers linked to disease, inflammation and cell damage. So we can see the benefits of a plant-based diet. However, last year the concern of low iodine levels in vegans was once again reported, and this is something we need to be taking really seriously. So now let's hear from the esteemed registered dietitian, Brenda Davis. Well, this is a really, really important question because I see and I have seen uh, goiters develop in whole food vegans who ignore iodine. Iodine is an essential nutrient. Iodine deficiency is the number one cause of cognitive impairment in the world. You can rob your child of 10 to 15 IQ points by having an iodine shortage in pregnancy. So this is not something to fool around with. Iodine is critical to human health. You know, the whole world practically iodized salt to try to decrease the amount of mental uh, incapacity in children and mental retardation we now call cognitive impairment in children uh, because it was such a problem. For people who are omnivores, they're going to get iodine from milk because we use iodine to clean, you know, the teats of the cows and we use it on the equipment. And so there's iodine in milk for that reason. They're going to get iodine from fish. We get little bits of iodine from plant foods, depending on how much iodine is in the soil. And some places in the U.S., there's more iodine in the soil than in other places. Generally, you probably won't get enough iodine just from eating plant foods. Uh, there are two sources of iodine for vegans. One is seaweed. Seaweed is loaded with iodine. It is so loaded that you can OD on iodine. You can exceed the upper limit of iodine and damage your thyroid by eating tons of seaweed. So you need to be cautious with seaweed. So let me give you an example. Kelp is the most concentrated seaweed. If you're using kelp powder and sprinkling it on food, you need about one sixteenth of a teaspoon to get your 150 micrograms of iodine, which is what you need if you're a non-pregnant uh, woman. If you're pregnant, you need about 220 micrograms. And if you're lactating, I think it's 290. For a baby, it's 110. For a child, uh, depending on age, it's some 90 going up to 110, 120. Some people ask about the nori. You know, you get those little snack packs of nori and a lot of people like those are the big sheets of nori, that's much lower in iodine. So you might get 20, 40, 50 uh, micrograms from a, a, a sheet. So a couple of sheets would do you for the day. If you don't like the taste of seaweed, the best thing to do is to use kelp because all you need is a tiny, tiny bit. You sprinkle it on your salad or your soup or whatever, you don't even taste it. Third way, you know, if you're not using iodized salt is, is to use a supplement that has iodine. So if you use a multivitamin vitamin mineral supplement, make sure it has 150 micrograms of iodine. And if you don't use a multivitamin mineral supplement or opposed to that, you can use iodine drops and just take it. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.